This video tutorial is the first one of the Volume and Isolines tools training series, and it describes how to use the app for Volume and Isolines to create digital terrain models of a stockpile. As first step, we will show how create a new project, and how to import a set of scans acquired around a stockpile. As second step, it will be shown how to edit your point cloud to remove useless points. As last step, you will learn how to create a digital terrain model from multiple scans. Let's start now with the first step. Once you have installed and licensed the Volume and Isolines tools, start the software by double-clicking the icon on your desktop. Press the New Project option and choose a folder where you want to save the project. The new project will have the name of the selected folder. When you drag and drop in the main window your Faro Focus scans in FLS format, the scan processing wizard is automatically shown. The wizard guides you through the next steps, raw data import and pre-processing. The default import parameters include point cloud colorization. To change the default import parameters, you can go to the advanced settings and select a subs sampling step or toggle the cloud colorization. Pressing next, again the wizard summarizes the selected options and you are ready to start the elaboration by clicking process. The raw data import starts and a progress bar informs about the status. More information is available in the log window at the bottom of the interface. When all scans are imported and pre-processed, they appear in the project windows under the grid folder, all marked with a P. If you start from the demo project we provide, you can skip the first importing step and directly open it. The stockpile scans are already imported and available in the project window. Once the scans are all imported, you can start the second step. Select all your scans from the item menu and, with the right button of mouse, click Load Model. When the scans are loaded they are marked in bold in the project window. Select a default view from the predefined drop-down menu to visualize all your scans, and then select the map view to display the stockpile from an orthographic top view. Zoom in with the scroll button of the mouse. Press the Select button to enter in the section mode. Select the lasso tool to contour a stockpile area and remove the useless points by selecting Delete Outside Point. All the scans are marked in red, in case of mistakes, you can download the modified scans without saving and all the deleted points can be recovered. To remove the point of the cranes over the stockpile, choose the UCS front view option to display the clouds from a side view, use the pivot mode to rotate the cloud in the proper direction and repeat the editing operation to remove the useless points. You are now ready to start the guided procedure to create the digital terrain model. As you have seen in the previous steps, set a map view. Pressing Alt and double click, pick some point around the stockpile. The selected points are listed in the point list windows. Select Make Polar Line in the point list windows to create a closed polyline to define the DTM region. In the Mesh Tools drop down menu, select the Topographic Mesh option. A dedicate recipe window appears. 
Following the recipe instructions, it is required to drag and drop the scans, the polar line and, in this case, we can deflag the author camera option to automatically use an adiral orthographic view on the scans. To modify the default parameters you can click the set parameters button on bottom of the recipe window. In the topographic meshing parameters dialog, you can select, the sampling step, higher the value lower will be the DTM resolution, the dispicking method to remove isolated spikes, the hole filling and the final mesh parameters. At the end of the automatic procedure the DTM is created, colorized according to the altitude gradient and added to the project under the meshes folder. We can rename the DTM model to distinguish it during last step of this training sessions when we will calculate the cut and fill volume.